Today I'm going to show you to do uh, Samsung S23 Ultra. So the back is fine and as you can see the screen is cracked uh, right over here. So let's get started. The phone has already been heated up and I'm going to open the back glass on the phone. So I'm going to start by making a small gap to ins insert my pry tool in. Uh, this step is very common for most of the Samsung phones and uh, take your time, take your time, try not to damage the back glass and uh, insert your big tool in. Once you have the plastic tool in, it's uh, pretty simple. You just need to work your way across all the edges on the phone. So as you can see, I'm doing it now. There you go. So we've got a few screws we need to take off. Uh, some screws on the top, some screws on the bottom. So let's start now. So, as I can see, I'm just taking the phone apart for the first time. So I can see there's a black screw here, and all the screws seems like they are the same, same size as well. So let's start by taking off all the screws. Hope you guys are doing well. Please like and subscribe. It really helps in supporting my channel. So as you can see, most of the screws or all of the screws are of the same size. So you have no worry to mix the screws when you are reassembling the phone. And it's pretty simple as well. So let's take off the bottom screws now. Before you do the repair, you need to take off the SIM tray, which I have already done. And uh, we need to also take the S Pen out because we don't want to have this S Pen uh, losing in the old screen so disconnect the flexes and uh, peel this one off so I can see there's something which is stopping it from picking up so seems like this is glued down to the shield so let me take this part off there you go so try not to pull it off too quick or uh, hence you might end up damaging the the phone uh, the wireless pad so that's the loudspeaker that's the wireless antenna flex so let's start by taking off disconnecting the battery first so that's the battery here disconnected and then start by disconnecting all the flexes So this flex is slightly bent and then this is the S Pen flex and this is your charging port which goes on the port. This is your coaxial cable and this is the flex which goes to the main board to the, to the LCD. There you go. Uh, the screen has been disconnected. So let's start by taking this one off. So as you can see there's a slight arrow mark which tells you where to pry it off from. So put your tool in and pry it up. Disconnect the front camera. And uh, take off the main board from here. Well guys I have forgotten the screw. Take off this black screw. So it seems like this screw is slightly longer than the other screws so make sure it goes in the same place. Uh, that's where this camera is. And now it's quite simple, pry off the main board. So that's your main camera for the S23 Ultra. And this is at the back so all of the cameras are separate apart from probably Oh, seems like all the cameras are separate. 
they are one two three four you can buy them separately if you damage them so that's your main board and your camera so that thing aside let's take off the charging port There you go. So, so this is a charging port for the S23 Ultra. All right, it's very similar to the S22 Ultra. So let's start by pulling off the battery tab. Uh, for this particular phone, I'm going to use a new battery, but I'm just going to give this thing an attempt. So it says pull out. So I just need to pull this one out. Well, that's pretty simple to pull off the battery. It's quite easy to pull it off. So this is the new battery, uh, the old battery on the phone. So it's uh, 4855, so it's 4855 milliamps uh, for 18.83 watt hour 4.47 volts so that's our battery and uh, quite possibly we have to take off this uh, front camera as well uh, this is a new screen and uh, let's start by disassembling uh, all the parts oh, sorry by assembling all the parts so let's start now so let's start by taking off all the protective coverings on the new screen so let's take this off be, be very careful we you take it off, you don't want to end up damaging the new screen. So let's pull it off. So friends, uh, this new screen does come with all the side buttons. So you don't have to move the buttons from the old screen. It does come with a new pair of them. So when you put your main board in, make sure it's sitting in properly. Give it a nice press down and uh, do remember to put the black screw near the camera so once you have that in place start by putting on the flexes so this camera has been taken off from the old screen so to take this off you do need to hit the old screen to a certain amount of temperature about 80 to 90 degrees for three minutes and then pry it off take off the glue from the sides if not you could buy a new camera so put this one on put the charging port and put on the screws on the charging port so these are all the old parts from the phone which we took off so this is a new battery I've got so let's take off all the protective coverings on it and uh, you could fold the battery where this line is and fold it fold it and once you have that in place first you need to do is try and connect the battery so and fold it back again so once it is connecting quite good you could press the battery down so you're confident that you won't have any problems to take the battery off so once that is in we need to reconnect all the connectors so this is our LCD to main boot flex and uh, connect this flex as well try not to press it too hard make sure it's seated in properly and then you press it or else there's a risk you can damage either the flex or either the main board connectors so once that is done we have to connect this flex over here there you go so make sure all of the flexes are connected and uh, last but not the least the battery connector it's very easy to forget to connect the battery there you go nice and easy 
So let's start with the loudspeaker. Connect it at the bottom and give it a press. Put on the screws. And then we put on the earpiece. Perfect. And press down on the flex on the connector. There you go. Put on all the screws back on the top earpiece uh, antenna. Once you have that sorted, we will connect the last bit of the phone, which is this one, the NFC antenna and the wireless charging flex uh, pad. So once that is done, connect this flex, yeah, press it down. Make sure you are on top aligned and then give it a nice press down. Perfect. And then we put all the screws back, a couple of screws, and we are down here. With the back glass, we need to put a new adhesive so that the water resistant on the phone is maintained. So I have ordered the genuine adhesive for this phone, which I will be installing right now. So make sure all the screws, everything is in. Make sure there's no dust on the camera lens. And... Uh, we should be good here. So with the back glass, I've already taken the old adhesive off and uh, I'm going to apply the new adhesive on the phone. So this is the new adhesive. All right, and this is the new adhesive on the phone. So as you can see, I can't put this on the back. So we need to put this adhesive on the phone. So take the phone, you have these holes here on this plastic bit so align them on the holes align them so I'm happy with what I have done here so what I'm going to do now is press it down perfect there you go. So once you get it aligned, just give it a nice press down. So it's s stuck on one side of the phone. So press it down with your tool on the edges. There you go. Perfect. perfect so once you got that sorted we will build this layer up there you go and once that is done we will put on the back glass there you go so I have just noticed something stuck on the back glass let me just clean the lens yeah if you have an air dust I just blow some air on the lenses and then make sure there's no dust on the camera lens and then reapply the back glass perfect I'm happy with what I've got here and I can press down the back glass there you go so the phone has been fixed and this is the new screen we got here so i can peel this one off and i can turn on the phone well guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the phone repair please like and subscribe thank you